detect loop or cycle in a link list so given a link list determine if it has a cycle or loop in it so uh, to explain this problem i have taken two example if you see the first example the link list a so here i have three nodes and the last node points to null so it does not have any cycle or loop in it but if you see the second example in which the last node instead of pointing to null points to this node so it has a cycle or loop so how we detect the cycle let's see in this programming exercise the first approach which we are going to use to solve this problem is using two pointer slow and fast so in this uh, approach slow pointer move one step whereas fast pointer move two step so the idea here is to run a loop and while slow and fast pointer does not point to same node and in this process if fast pointer points to null it means there is no loop or cycle in it else the linked list contains a loop so uh, let's visualize this uh, process so initially slow and fast pointer points to the first node of a linked list now if you check the while loop the slow pointer move one step and fast pointer move two step so the when slow pointer reach at this node fast pointer will reach at this node so then in next step slow pointer reach at this node and the fast pointer will reach at this node and then in next step the slow pointer reach at this point and the fast pointer reach at this point so the fast pointer was at this node now it uh, it reach at this and this so the two step is it reach at this uh, node next the slow pointer reach at this node and the fast pointer also reach at this node so you see we run a loop while slow and fast pointer does not point to same node so when both point to same node we came out of this while loop and returned true it means the linked list has a cycle or loop in it and let's take another uh, example in which the linked list does not have a loop or cycle in it so let's draw four nodes four then three then two then one and this time it points to null so initially so this linked list does not have a loop or cycle so let's slow and fast pointer i represent with s and f so slow and fast pointer points to this node and slow pointers move one step whereas fast pointer moves two steps so when slow pointer points to this node fast pointer points at this node then see the next condition where fast equal to equal to null and the next node is null then return false so if you see the next node of this so fast pointer when the next node uh, i mean when whether it points to a step no so after one node uh, this is the last node which points to null so we can't move fast pointer by two step so it return false it means the linked list does not have any loop or cycle in it so this is how uh, this uh, this method works so here i have declared two pointer slow and fast and here i am running a loop the condition is run a while loop until a slow and fast pointer does not point to same node and if fast pointer is null at any point then 
it means we reach at the end of a linked list and it does not have any loop or cycle in it just return false and else in move slow pointer by one step and fast pointer by two step and when both the slow and fast pointer points to same node it means we came out of this loop and we return true it means it has cycle or loop in it so uh, this is the first step the time complexity of this approach is o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 now let's discuss the second approach in this approach we are going to use hash table to solve this problem so the idea here is visit each node one by one and store their node reference in a hash table and while visiting the node if null is reached at any point and we did not found any we did not found the reference in a hash table it means the linked list does not have any loop or cycle in it and if we found else if we if we found the node reference in a hash table it means it has a loop or cycle in it so let's visualize this process so if i draw a hash table and and if we start visiting node one by one so the first node is four so let's store the reference in this hash table then the next node is six let's store the reference in this hash table and then the next is three so we store the reference in this hash table the next value is two we store the reference in this hash table then one we store the reference in this hash table and while storing the reference we first check whether this reference is already present in this hash table so till now we have not found the reference in the hash table now let's see the next node is 6 and if you see we already have the reference of this node in a hash table so it means this linked list has a loop in it so if you see the code i have declared a hash set of a node type and i'm traversing a linked list or you can say i'm visiting each node of a linked list while i have not reached at the end of a linked list and this condition is if the node which i am visiting is already present in a hash table then return true it means uh, the linked list has a cycle or loop in it else just add the reference in a hash table and move uh, to next node so here we are moving uh, visiting each node one by one so this is uh, the logic of this approach and the time complexity of this approach is o n and the space complexity is also o n so uh, these are the two approaches i have discussed to solve this problem and if you have any other way to solve this problem then let me know through your comments and uh, for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel or you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video